Hopefully they'll release a tier 9 Infernal Hordes because tier 8 is already a walk in the park for Druids this season. Since this build can quite literally face tank all the content in the game, including tier 8, well, within reason, you should have no difficulty putting all your buffs up, walking around the room, and clearing out all the content. Welcome back to MinMax RPG everyone, and I don't typically do build updates in this fashion. What I normally do is just update the build planner and leave a pinned comment so that people are aware of the changes that have been made from the original video. However, the changes to this build have been so massive, these changes improve the damage of the build by almost 50% in terms of output. It also improves various resists across the board and allows you to comfortably farm tier 8, where it previously farmed tier 7 at a more comfortable level. This video will feature some updates to the Vroom Vroom Boom Boom or Cataclysm Boulder Druid build that was aired recently. If you're looking for an in-depth explanation of how the build works, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can check that out. This video is just going to cover the changes that have been made in the update. A lot of times when you're planning a build, what you're doing is getting to a point or capping the build out and then looking for areas that you can tweak or improve to continue that success. Since this build had continued to progress without much difficulty, I had missed a couple of those things, and thanks to viewers like you, we are able to get these things taken out and improve the damage output. For starters, I want to reiterate that you're going to want a Dolmen Stone with a greater affix on the Nature Magic cooldown reduction. If you're lucky enough to roll the bonus on Masterworking once or even twice, you'll have an enormous amount of cooldown reduction for your Cataclysm. As you can see, that'll allow you to have something similar to the setup shown in these videos. This will give you nearly a 20 second cooldown with a 21 second uptime. This allows for a little bit of overlap and you can comfortably maintain this and never worry about your spirit. The first change is with the pair of boots. We're actually gonna run Wild Heart Hunger. This is a huge improvement over Flicker Step in terms of damage output and Flicker Step is no longer needed once you surpass that threshold for having the cooldown reduction. Much like Quick Shift, you'll be able to maintain these stacks while spamming Blood Howl. You'll have tons of cooldown reduction, tons of kills within the Infernal Hordes, and this will allow Blood Howl to come back up, thanks to the innate property that it has to reduce its own cooldown by one second every time you kill an enemy. And then you can essentially spam this, maintaining both stacks. Some of the aspects have also changed, so we're going to go ahead and cover the legendary aspects. You're going to run Aspect of Retaliation. Your core skills are going to deal additional damage based on the amount of Fortify you have. In the beginning, I was worried about maintaining Fortify in order for this aspect to be worthwhile. However, it's proven that you essentially can maintain your Fortify for the vast majority of the time and get a significant damage boost from this. Ballistic Aspect is still run in the pan slot. When you have Fortify, your Earth skills are going to get two additional ranks. Again, this is going to boost your damage, and this was unchanged. Aspect of Metamorphic Stone is also unchanged, just covering all the legendary aspects here. Finally, Edge Master's Aspect. Now, there's still some tests being done between the interactions of what happens when we have this unlimited spirit that you get from the Jolnik Ring. There are various nodes that work, things that don't, and in this case, through my testing, it looks like Edge Masters does work, and most of the skills that actually say they're reliant on spending spirit do not. However, Edge Masters is not reliant on spending that spirit, it's just what's available, and it does seem to have some benefit here. If you have any question about that working or not, you can run Aspect of Inner Calm. You'll get a lot of benefit of that 10% multiplicative damage to start, and you get 30% multiplicative damage when standing still. It's going to be useful at various times within the Infernal Hordes, especially on the bosses. For reference, the Spirit Boons and Paragon have remained unchanged, so you can continue using exactly what you were. It's really just the aspects and the skill tree that you want to make sure that you're using the updated changes to push as high as possible. Be mindful of all the requirements in order to make this build successful. It is capable of working with less cooldown reduction. You'll have to use something like Flicker Step in order to recover that cooldown and just get more uptime. But all this is mentioned in the build guide. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch and have a great day.